Alright guys, so I'm just out here on the 5th Avenue, as always, looking for more people to interview. And you know, I'm looking to ask more people about the price. Oh, hola Milagros, ¿cómo está? Ay! <laughs> ¿Cómo está Milagros? Mi amiga, Milagros, de Argentina, gym friends, chica fuerte, amigos de gimnasio, y amigos de playa en general. Amigos de la vida. Sí. ¿Qué tal hoy? Y hoy un día tranquilo, con mucho calor, acá en la quinta. Hermoso. Dame otra fuerza. ¿Te parece otra? Uy. <laughs> gracias, gracias. Ok, guys, so I'm here on Fifth Avenue with Malika. Hi. Wie geht's? Me geht's sehr gut. That's good? Ja. <laughs> yeah. Oh, ich bin ein Irlander. Uh, ich bin eine Deutsche. <laughs> <laughs> so Malika is from Germany, Munich, Germany. Right. And Malika is from Germany and used to live here in Playa del Carmen and is now back for a quick visit. Is that right? That is right. All right, cool. So welcome back Thank to you your so old much. home. Thank you so much. It's great to be here. Wow, yeah, and you did your little, you did the braids yeah. out here, the Playa braids. <laughs> and so you lived here four years ago. We're talking 2020? Yes. That was like the start of the pandemic. Yes, it was. So did that, do you think that hindered or influ impacted on your stay here in Playa? Like not to get into all that too much, but yeah. like, but it was the reason I came here, because it was the only country which was open. Oh. So that's why I came here. And I feel like Playa was just full of digital nomads. Yeah. No tourists, just the nomads. And we were a family, a unique community, just full of nomads. And that's what I really like about Playa. Right, right, right. Malika's got that super digital nomad vibe going. Yes. <laughs> Did you ever did you ever consider like Thailand? I used to live in Thailand. Did you ever consider I, Bali or Thailand for I, your digital nomad yeah, lifestyle? I was in Thailand once, like for three months. But I really like uh, Mexico more because of the dancing. I really am into Latino dancers, bachata, and oh. reggaeton, and that's what I really miss. Uh, Can we Thailand. see a little step? No. <laughs> <laughs> but you're nice. You're nice. You're you're a good dancer. I think so. Wow, bachata. Yeah. Right. I just like, try to learn bachata. Yes. <laughs> okay. Okay. There we go. Hey. <laughs> Malika, can I ask you one thing? Yes. How about if you and I, me and you, bailamos bachata? Yeah, see. Sí. All right. We would love that. Hopefully, we can get a chance to do some bachata dancing while you're here. How long will you be here for? Uh, just one movie. Okay. Yeah. I would love to. Movie, can catch up? Go dance. I'm not so good. You know, okay. you, if you can lead. Yes. And, <laughs> but so, yeah, that'll be awesome. So, as far as your eight months here, all right. Here's the question for you. Then, so like, you just got back here now. How how many days are you here now? Two weeks. Oh, you've been here two weeks already? Yeah. Oh, wow. And so, what are you seeing as different? Like, what are the, are you seeing any big changes? More condos, I guess, and more development? More condos. Well, I guess, but now we're in low season, so maybe it's hard to judge. But you, you take the floor and you tell me, what do you see? Yeah, I think my favorite spots, my favorite locations, close. That's the one thing I... What were they? What were they? At Tequila Barrel. I don't know if you know. I think you don't, no. you don't know. At Tequila where, Barrel. where was it? It was at 5th, obviously, and 12th. Uh, Fifth and twelve. Yeah. Okay. What's it was there now? Amazing. Nothing. It's just close. Like, is it close to Santino? No, that's eight. It's close to Clandestino, right? Close to Clandestino. Clandestino. It was yeah. there. It was. And right. now there's just nothing there. Just oh, it's in front of Clandestino. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I, no, there's just borders. There's just um. Yeah. There's just what do you call like uh, shutters? There's yes. just shutters there now. Right. So that was a good it's spot, was it? It was my favorite spot. All it right. Was a per perfect place to start the evening. It was like a mixture of a bar and a club. You could go like. For drinks but already dancing a little bit get you in the mood i really miss that one awesome awesome okay and so otherwise like any other changes you're seeing a lot of tourists <laughs> oh you see it's more tourists more tourists i mean it's low season right now but in general it's more tourists than four years ago mm -hmm. obviously but yeah i think it's kind of fun too because you meet a lot of people around the world and that's what i like so yeah yeah, yeah. Playa has just a unique vibe and how's your spanish Awful. I can't Is do it? anything. No. <laughs> so like, do you, you know, are you are you one of these plants? It's like, you, you, are you pretty much mostly digital nomad life, or do you also mix with Mexican culture? Like, do you hang out with Mexican people sometimes? I do hang out with Mexican people, but only the ones who speak English. Right. It's hard. I guess that's a barrier for you a little yeah, bit. Yeah. A little bit. Yeah. So like, that's actually just talking about me for a second. It's not. It's not about me, but just it's a big reason why I did come here because living in Thailand. My relationships, my friendships couldn't go really the next level. Already in Thailand, it's not a place where they, they let the farang in too much. Yeah. So that, and if you don't speak Thai, forget about yeah. it. And I, my Thai was never going to get to that level. I don't love the language. So I already spoke Spanish for three years in Spain. And, you know, I'm out here now and, you know, I just have, I can vibe with the people in a totally different way. You know, I can have Mexican male friends and I can have 
just different, a much fuller experience, I can totally cultural understand. experience. More open. Yeah. yeah, yeah, exactly. Way more open. Way yeah. more open. And so, otherwise, a little bit on the cost. Would you supply us uh, expensive? Yeah, yeah, it is. It is. I think it is expensive. Like, it's not as expensive as Tulum, obviously. Yeah. Have you been in other parts of Mexico? Um, yes. I was in Mexico City, in Oaxaca, Puerto Escondido. Yes. But right. I like Playa the most. And um, yeah, but it's, it's getting expensive. Mm. Would you remember how much you paid four years ago or like how much are you paying right now? I think now? it was like in euros, but it's the same like dollars. It was like 900 a month. Back then? Back then. Ooh, okay. Yeah. Cariñosa, as we say in Mexico, like uh, <laughs> a little bit a little bit pricey, right? But uh, uh, what kind of place was that? Just uh, like a nice condo or house? It was Airbnb, um, a really nice Airbnb with a rooftop pool and a oh. balcony, so... Good deal. Uh, but it was worth it, yeah. Good deal, okay. So I'm, I'm paying about half that right now for like a simple studio yeah. with a nice little swimming pool. It's a little classic little Mexican place. Yeah. I love it. It's just, you know, it's what, I'm, it's what I need right now. Um, but Is that's it in Central? Yeah, I'm on Avenida 30th Avenue. Okay, cool. And where was your place Central too? I guess for that. Yeah, it yeah, was, yeah. yeah. All right, cool. And so, I guess last question for you, Malika, was like, is like, what, what's your favorite thing? If you can put it down to one thing, is it the vibe, is it the energy here, the weather, it's the community. Yeah. And are many of your community left from your four yes. years ago? A lot of people. I mean, there are some left. So the, the nomad meet us are still full when you go there. Right, we, were ju we just mentioned that off camera off before we were getting ready that Malika was saying, you know, about social life here is one thing. It's very cyclical and very people come and go a lot, very transient. So I guess four years later, it can be hard to imagine ev so many people will still be here. But yeah. a lot of them do. A lot of people are here long, long term. So. Yeah, and a lot of people come back. Like, yeah. Oh, every year they come back here. And we yeah, back, so. people are going to back home, or people are yeah. trying Asia, and then yeah. always. That's what I'd like to do for the rest of my life. I'd like Playa to be a solid base. Yeah. Hopefully, Good I'll choice. get to go back to Thailand sometimes. Yeah. Uh, maybe try Brazil, you know. But always have here as a good base, you know. Nice. And so, <laughs> awesome, Alika. Yeah, thank you so much for being on the. On thank the video. you for having me. All right, you're <laughs> awesome. Uh, thank you, well. No, no, that's Dutch. Uh, let me. No, no, no. <laughs> let me cut that out. Uh, thank you, Sean. Bitteschön. Uh, uh, ich bin, no, that's I am. Sie, mm -hmm. sie ist eine Frau. Mm -hmm. uh, how do I say beautiful? <laughs> Schön. Ich, no, sie war eine schöne Frau. <laughs> Was that good German? Dankeschön. Was that good German? Kind of, yeah. I can't understand. A little bit. I, I've, I'm quite. You might know guys watching my channel, I'm a bit of a linguist. German is not one I have quite uh, gotten around to yet, but meeting Malika is uh, giving me German vibes. <laughs> Maybe I have to start learning German. What do you think? Yeah, you can, you, I think you can try. I would love to. How about a little, uh, little, little language exchange? Well, you don't need it. What can I, what can I give you? Because I can't teach you dance. You can. I can teach Spanish. Spanish? Yeah. Spanish-German meetup tomorrow? Yeah, uh, sure. Someday a little yeah, cafecito? Yeah, we'd love it. Yeah, we'd right. love it. Awesome. Let's wrap it up there, Malika. So, uh, just a little wrap up. Malika loves Playa de Carmen. She lived here for eight months, four years ago. She's back to catch up with some friends and catch some Playa vibes. Living back full time in Munich now. Happy back there. Yes. In her hometown of Munich. And uh, your apartment was about $900, $900 a month for a lovely rooftop swimming pool kind of condo place. Yeah. Awesome. All right, Malika. Let's wrap it up. Thank you, Sean. Auf Wiedersehen. Cheers. All right. There we go. <laughs>